Hey, this is Kyler, and we are in week six of the One Story Plan. If you're following along with the One Story Calendar, today we'll be talking through day number 32. We have an awesome special guest, and I can't wait for you to meet them. We hope you enjoy this week's podcast. Three, four. What's going on everyone? This is Kyler with the Grace Kid Podcast and today I have a special guest with me and she's going to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Eliza. I am in third grade and I am nine years old. That is right. And today, as usual, we are going to start off with the question of the day. So Eliza, what is our question of the day? Would you rather hear through your nose and smell through your ears or have a tail. That's right. All right, so whoever you're with, ask them the question and we will be right back with our answer. All right, and we are back, and uh, we have some good answers for you. And so, Eliza, what is your answer? Would you rather hear through your nose or smell through your ears or have a tail, or and, and the two things on your face, or have a tail? Tail. Tail? Why a tail? Because I could whack people. I could also groom my tail, and I could also be a magical creature. That's pretty great. I think a tail would be awesome, but I don't know how you would sit down with the tail. So I chose the other one to smell through your ears and tear through your nose because Eliza, you can see me right now, but I have a mustache. And sometimes if I eat something or I don't wash my mustache, sometimes my mustache stinks. And so it'd be really great not to always smell my mustache, just saying. And so, okay, but with that, our question of the day actually has nothing to do with our story, but Eliza actually picked this story out herself. And so, drum roll please, we're talking about Jacob's blessing. Which actually wasn't Jacob's blessing to start though. Whose was it? Esau's, but he deceived. Yep, he deceived, which we'll talk about <laughs> in a little bit. And so we're gonna be in Genesis 27, but where we start is Abraham had a son named Isaac. Then Isaac had these two sons named Esau and Jacob. Esau was the firstborn, which meant he gets a birthright blessing and this other blessing later. And so Esau though, at the very beginning, uh, he ends up selling his birthright to Jacob for some stew, which seems like pretty silly, but uh, Esau's like, I'm starving, I need stew. And Jacob's like, well, if you give me your blessing, I'll give you some stew. And he's like, what, will my, what good is my birthright? I'm so hungry, which we know is kind of silly at this point, but he does it anyway. Like with my and so candy. he ends up, uh, Esau swears to Jacob his birthright. And then later we see uh, Isaac, their dad, he's getting old and he starts to go blind. Like he starts to not be able to see. And so he calls for his brother Esau, or his son Esau. And he's like, my son, Esau's like, yes, father. And what does uh, Isaac tell Esau, Eliza? Isaac. Tells Esau, go get me some game and I will give you the, a blessing. Yeah, and okay, but hold on. What is game? Game is the food that you like go hunting for in the woods, like yeah. a wild turkey or bear or bison. Yeah, or maybe even fish too. And so he sends him off to go do this, but someone overhears. Who overhears? Rebecca. That's right. And, and Rebecca. Rebecca is Isaac's wife and. Jacob and Esau's mom. Yeah, that's right. And so she ends up going to Isaac, or she ends up going to Jacob, and she's like, hey, I know exactly what they're gonna do and what uh, Isaac told Esau. And so he's like, uh, go and do this. 
But Jacob's like, look, I'm my brother Esau, he is a hairy man, and I have smooth skin. What if my father touches me? Like, he'll he'll see that I'm trying to trick him and he'll curse me instead of bless me. So what does he do? He puts on goat skins and he puts on what's it called? Uh Esau's clothes. Yeah. Puts on Esau's <laughs> favorite clothes and he goes out and gets a young goat and gives it to Rebecca to prepare. And so all this happens. Um, and so Jacob, he goes uh, to Isaac, his dad. Yeah. And Isaac's like, uh, yes, my son. Wait, who are you? Esau or Jacob? And who does Jacob say he is? I am your first, firstborn, Esau, Esau, and I'm Esau, even though he isn't. Yeah, he was lying. And so he's like, yeah, here's your wild game. Sit up here, eat, so you can give me your blessing. And so Isaac said, how did you go get it so fast, my son? He's like, oh, the Lord put it in my path. And so then Isaac is like, here, come closer so I can touch. Make sure you're really Esau. And so Jacob went closer and Isaac touched him. Uh, and he was like, oh, well, he's hairy. It must be him. And so he ends up blessing Jacob. Isaac blesses Jacob. But Esau gets back from like hunting and he goes to Isaac for his blessing. But what happens? So, because Jacob already took the blessing, Isaac was worried because he was like, I can't take that back that blessing because that's not right. Yeah, he was, he was like trembling in fear almost. He was like, what have I done? I can't believe it. And Esau gets really, really angry. He Jacob. wants to kill yeah, he's like, he now cheated me twice. He took my my rights as a firstborn. Now he's stolen my blessing. And he's like, I, I can't take back what I've done. And so this whole story makes me think, how does it apply to our life? Like, what does it teach us either about God or how to live differently? So, Eliza, what does it teach you? Do not lie and do not deceive. Which is Deceiving exactly is what lying. Jacob did. Yeah, and which is not good. That is sin. That is yeah. Not yeah, him. and it also, it makes me think too that maybe we have people in our lives that are like Rebecca who like maybe overhear something and try to convince you to do something that's not good, which is like a bad thing. And so uh, don't have those friends in your life that convince you to do bad things. Okay, so with that application, we have uh, challenges for you. So every week we have a challenge. And so Eliza, what is your challenge for our listeners? My challenge is... Read Genesis 27 in your Bibles. Yeah, that's right, which is where our story comes from today. Yeah. And my challenge for you is uh, maybe uh, ask yourself, do you have friends that encourage you to make bad decisions? Like, do you have friends that tell you, oh, no, oh, it's not bad. You won't get in trouble. And, and then really, you know it's bad, but you do it anyway. Like, don't do that. And if you have those friends, if you have the courage, maybe you tell them, hey, what you're telling me to do is not good. Or... Uh, if you're like maybe a little scared, God. you start make some other friends that encourage you to follow God and to live for him. And tell your friends about God. Yeah. Tell your friends about God. And so with that, that comes to the end of our podcast. And so we say bye. Goodbye. If you would like more resources regarding the One Story Plan, go to visitgracechurch.com backslash one story. And if you'd like more resources for your kids, you can go to visitgracechurch.com backslash kids. We also have a YouTube channel and you can find it by searching Visit Grace Kids on YouTube. If you like this podcast, we would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon.